Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So the last few weeks I've been sharing a lot of shop with me's and hauls and then I do the occasional DIY and if you've been following me I do share a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs with you. So one thing I love to do is budget when it comes to craft materials. So what I've decided to do with this video today is compile a bit of like a crafter's guide to Dollar Tree and maybe a 101 if you're a beginner to crafting and you want to save money but you want to get into the crafting world and you know how you want these glues and then you want these stickers and then you want this material for making wreaths and it all adds up so I've compiled some footage from a ton of videos and kind of shared my tips and tricks on how I shop at the Dollar Tree and how I save money now I did a huge Dollar Tree no spend challenge in the month of March last year and it went over so so well that I've kind of continued with those habits but I also have been taking some classes on Skillshare I want to say thank you so much to Skillshare for supporting this video and sponsoring it and also being a huge supporter of this community if you haven't heard of Skillshare they are an online community for creators just like you they have over 25,000 classes available anywhere between design business and even even personal development or hobbies I've taken decluttering on there I've taken hand lettering videography I did a really nice um, class in videography and took those techniques actually and made the video for you guys kind of more on the ASMR nature sounds and I hope you guys really enjoyed it I loved making that video but definitely been taking some budgeting classes currently and incorporating incorporating them into my Dollar Tree and crafting lifestyle because we know how expensive that can get so I do want to let you guys know if you follow the description there's a link in the description down below you can get two months free of Skillshare and if you're looking to do some budgeting classes or if you're looking for some watercoloring or something for personal development maybe even just I don't know videography like me or photography or something uh, you definitely want to take a look and take advantage of it they have the premium membership that will unlock all the features and all the tools on the website for you you can even use the app which is super handy if you're on the go so right now in the summer it is a little bit harder to stay home and watch things so they have an app you can download makes it super easy on your mobile to even some of them you can just listen to you don't even have to watch a video so that makes it even easier if you're just doing an audible I'll look at the description and follow the link down below because you don't want to miss this two free months opportunity to check their website out I guarantee you'll love it and there's so much on there for you to take a look at but also they're super affordable I don't think they're any more than ten dollars a month so their annual subscription is pretty reasonable I would say and I hope that walking through Dollar Tree with me and, and as I explain some things and how to save money you can budget your money as well for your crafting so anyways until next time everyone I hope you enjoy walking through with me one area I love to check out every season are the seasonal items that come out. So you're looking at little accessories that you can use for DIY material to accent pieces you already have at home or to create your own DIYs for that particular season. Or for future, you may need to purchase something from Halloween or from Christmas in order to repurpose it into a different type of DIY. You'll also find a lot of wood planks that are specific to that season, such as these Halloween wood planks that are easy to decoupage, paint, stain. Bags are wonderful for transforming into new planner covers or even for using as ephemera for paper crafting. You have seasonal items such as the garland, the bulbs that you can transform and make wreaths out of, ornaments for your tree, but also to decorate a wreath with that you would spend a lot more money at a typical craft store. You can even transform some of these things sometimes into Halloween costumes. Especially the foam that's specific to Christmas is a nice time to buy because you may be able to use them for Easter and for other DIYs around your home during other times of the year. The little mini Christmas trees come in green and white and you can buy the little lights for year round use in vases or even obviously to decorate for Christmas. These are great for storing little things or even decorating your craft room with. 
In the summertime, you'll find quite a bit of items easy to be transformed into other DIYs. The plank, these wood plaques can be easily flipped over, painted on the back end and transformed in something, into something that would suit your style at home. But there's also the option to use some of it for ephemera in journaling and paper crafting and pocket letter making, scrapbooking. stickers that come out seasonal are as well a fun find um, if you're doing theme based layouts then definitely take a peek at your seasonal items and they always have these wood plaques that come out for the seasons as well so if you need them definitely purchase them when you see them Wrapping paper is also perfect for cutting out little pieces if you need for paper crafting, scrapbook layouts, or even decoupaging a little box to use as an accent piece of decor in a living room, in a guest room, in a bathroom. And there's just so many possibilities with the really pretty gift wrapping paper that they have at the Dollar Tree and also tissue paper. Another area I absolutely love at the Dollar Tree is their floral section. So right now is the fall to flowers which is they're so fun and colorful but then there's also spring and summer that come out with lovely colors and they're so easy to transform into your own little DIY decor for your home because you can take something like this and head over to the vase section and find something that you can plop your flowers into very easily you can even add little pieces if you need to and then put it in your bathroom or in your kitchen and you have a really cute DIY also they have these LED copper lights and silver gold and copper I believe very affordable that you can put into your glass vase to accent as well paper streamers are wonderful for making rosettes if you're into the paper crafting world but also great for making pinatas you have confetti you have sparkly the paper bags that make wonderful die cut material if you want to use napkins for decoupaging you can or for even taking apart and using in your paper crafts very pretty prints during different seasons but you can also head over to their regular stash and they have wonderful prints there as well I am always using Mod Podge if it's for paper crafts, if it's for decoupaging, and I know where to find it for a great price. There's the gloss and the matte one at Dollar Tree. Along with that, there are other tools you'll find down the craft aisle, fabric pens, canvas bags if you need things to decorate or to use as little gift bags for DIYing your own things. There's the squeeze applicator bottles. You have glitter, all kinds, all colors bright colors, neutral colors. You also have kids crafts. So if you're looking to do something with a child, they often have little things in the craft department to keep one busy. There's finger protectors for glue gunning. You have squeeze tubes that you can mix your own paints with. There's the nautical rope for doing a ton of DIYs. You can use this for wreath making. You can use it for making macrame, I believe. Nautical themed DIYs. I've used this on the channel quite a bit and it's nice and thick. Also, there's fabric right now at the Dollar Tree, which is super cute if you make your own little pillows or baggies. And I love their calendars for decoupaging, so I will often take one of their inspirational pictures and I will transfer it over into onto wood and I can use the Mod Podge again to decoupage that or I will even frame it. They have paints. Our Dollar Trees are filled with every color of paint imaginable. You can mix and match, but there's also paint brushes. Again, you have all your little essentials if you wanna make mix and match your own paints and um, they make it really easy to be able to do your own DIYs. As you continue down the craft aisle, you'll find all sorts of tools, scraping tools. If you need to DIY something in your home and you need to remove a residue, they have tools like that. Glue tape runners, especially for our scrapbooking. little clamps if you're drying glue overnight especially working with super glues or e6000 wood glues there's all types of sequins there's thread rope twine yarn beads
You'll even find popsicle sticks, felt, wood die cuts, larger wood die cuts such as these or cutouts and then you'll also have the canvas boards which are absolutely one of my favorite things to DIY with because the wood on the back is phenomenal. I've made mini ladders with these reverse canvases. You can paint on them of course and then there's a lot of ephemera type things as well and you've got your cotton twine and your jute if you're doing DIYs during the fall you know that you'll run into using that quite a bit. Also keep in mind that you can use some of the, the dishware and transform it into decorative pieces. I've glittered one of these and put them on a little stand and now it sits as a candy dish. So there's also little things like this that can be transformed into Christmas decorations for your tree or you can make little mini terrariums or displays, clear displays like a clo cloach I believe they're called and you can also etch the glassware here. Glue sticks is another find that you may be able to find bigger packages of 20, which we use in the craft room, and glue sticks also are a bonus pack at back to school time, so it's nice if you do use these that you stock up during that time. Other tools that might come in handy are mini screwdrivers, because when you're fiddling around with small things, you do need little spaces. The uh, furniture scratch markers are wonderful for wood staining as well along with shoe polish unfortunately we didn't have shoe polish when i was filming this sandpaper is another great tool i have in my craft room at all times i've done quite a bit of diys with it but you also can use it for sanding off things and these are great as well if you're painting your home or sample painting then a diy like that shouldn't cost you too much money to do a sample the command hooks are wonderful if you're hanging things on the wall and you're not permanently want to damage your walls definitely take a look for some really great command hooks at the Dollar Tree on a budget you'll also find clothing pins the wooden ones are wonderful for making wreaths and you have like the little foam daubers and stuff like this which you could use for painting as well something like this makes a great use for putting your pens or pencils in inside your backpack so that you're not breaking the nibs along with makeup brushes which are wonderful for blending inks and using in paper crafts so don't pass up the makeup brushes because they're a great little tool to have on your craft cart and then of course you've got all your marbles and there are a ton of diys you can do with mosaics you can use these i believe in your fireplace as well outdoors there's ephemera that we know a scrapbookers comes in gray hand when you're using as paper crafts. There's beautiful, beautiful stickers that you can make your own layouts with using the beautiful stickers that they have at the Dollar Tree, but you can also make your own cards and they have nice plain packages with a nice set of envelopes and plain cards to make your own cards with. And then again, you have more ephemera you can use, cut up and transform into your journaling, your mixed media, your artwork. You can use it as canvas media stuff. And then they have little tools like this for piercing, the boning set, and a ton of jewels and stickers. I'm gonna go through these here and just share with you what I see, but a lot of this is great use, of course, for paper crafts. So besides the small stickers, there are the giant vinyl wall stickers as well. And they are wonderful for pre-packaging on the outside of Happy Mail, but also decorating a room. You can put some in frames to make wall art. There are a ton of things that you can do. Sometimes they have beautiful sayings as well with wording that you can take and then put on a glass 
frame and that turns into wall art as well. So there's definitely take a peek if you're looking to do some decorating for a child's room. So if you go over to the picture frames, you'll often find mirrors that you can transform or using actual frames, you can transform into trays or even frame some of the wall stickers or other things and then turn it into wall art. So there's always something that would suit your style. I know that there's like sometimes like the tacky gold and stuff that might not be what's in right now, but they do have some more modern styled. Sometimes they even have really pretty mirrored glass type frames. Another thing is the cutting boards. They're really great for transforming into personal, personalized decor if you're into vinyl or using your Cricut or Silhouette. I also have seen these clear cutting boards have some really cute sayings on them and transformed into cute gifts. Probably one of my favorite investments are the chopping mats in a pack of two. I use these on my craft table all the time to protect it from my heat gun, paints, all sorts of things. This is another aisle you do not want to miss out on for wreath making. If you are making wreaths seasonally, definitely take a look. There are willow wreaths, grapevine wreaths, metal wreaths. You'll also find all the mossing kits, especially for Easter time. You know that the mossing is really popular. You'll also find mesh and that is also a seasonal thing. So right now you'll probably be finding all the fall colors if you're making fall wreaths. The wire wreaths are a fantastic form for making these wreaths as well. So definitely if you're going to make one, grab one now because these are going to sell fast. We're into a more modern themed wreath. The bamboo skewers come in handy for making that really spiky look wreath there are different sizes and you will see them right now still in the barbecue area so if you need them grab them another one of my favorite finds is the vinyl at the dollar tree they have clear magic cover which i use as stenciling i cut it with my cricut machine all the time and then i love to practice on their t-shirts rather than spending a bit more money on a better quality shirt and messing it up, I love to practice on their really nice thin t-shirts from the Dollar Tree. Also, you can vinyl your own little hats. They have just like the trucker hats, so you can vinyl those as well. Another one of my favorite finds is their seasonal scarves. I love using their fabric. I've used it as accent pieces on a wreath, kind of acting as like the ribbon or the bow. You can also make pillows out of these. There's so many things you can make out of that fabric. Well, as a crafter, you know that you need to stay organized. So another area I recommend taking a look at and browsing through is the Dollar Tree storage organization and bins. Sometimes they have the cutest colors and prints. I love some of these wide baskets down here, even just for sorting my paper. This works as a perfect paper tray. I love them and they are just, the print is so cute. You can also use these in kids rooms and craft rooms and bathrooms and sink, under sinks and all sorts of stuff. But definitely as a crafter, I am speaking from my experience that I absolutely love their storage options. I even use their caddy and it has like a little handle, this one here on my craft cart and I keep other little containers in there so some of my pens are propped up and stuff these are new and they're in the back to school section they have little handles so if you, they are up high on a shelf in your closet those are nice and easy to reach for then you have the option with stackable something that has a lid like this or the little pull out arms that they still allow you to stack one little container on top of the other and again here are some options for colors so you don't have to go only with what you're seeing in the video, you will see a lot more in your store. Another one of my favorite finds is the rubber made like type containers from the Dollar Tree. They have these non, they have little grip stoppers, non-slip stoppers on the bottom. And I love that some of them come in a pack of two, a pack of one, but they all fit kind of within one another. So if you take a space and you're like, well, I need this to fit here and I need that to fit 
there, you can sort them to fit your style. So it easily, the little compartments fit into one another. So they are super versatile and great for organizing drawer systems. Some of my most favorite containers from the Dollar Tree are their clear acrylic ones and they fit so perfectly inside my Alex drawer units, the tall Alex units. Some of them will even float as little floating shelves. Another wonderful thing are these large glass storage containers found in the kitchen aisle. They have beautiful lids but they make great storage if you have loose ends and pieces such as buttons and things like that you can easily throw in here so, and little ribbon or washi tape this also makes these thick placemats make for wonderful covers if you want to transform them into a planner cover but you can also frame them and use them as wall decorations i think it's really cool that there's some really pretty prints out there right now um, especially farmhouse and stuff like that that would suit somebody's style if you're in search of rustic items or wood pieces they often have these little wood slices and all sorts of little wood pieces but also like the tumbling tower blocks they can make lanterns with so many DIYs can be made with those little wood pieces now if you're DIYing you'll often find that tape is necessary such as masking tape if you're trying to create a pattern on glassware and you want to paint or you're needing to hold something down so masking tape their painters tape works really well at the Dollar Tree for a quick fix you don't need to spend a lot of money especially when you're making DIYs or crafting things their paper pads are absolutely wonderful if you're using your die cut machine, your Cricut machine, you're making pocket letters, scrapbooking pages, cards, and you need a few samples of paper. There's usually about 36 or so pages in each little booklet and they do the trick on a budget. And they have stencils too and sometimes they even have stamps. They didn't have stamps today, but see, they have stencils which are perfect for DIYing. Well, I think as a crafter, if you are making crafts, you probably need pens for writing down your ideas. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to share with you the little stationary aisle because I absolutely love it and I thought I would share it with you and let you know that there are certain pens in the craft aisle that do fit your Cricut machine. So if you're a Cricut user, definitely take advantage of their Pro Marks markers because they will fit right into the casing of the Cricut machine. Until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this crafter's guide to Dollar Tree and I look forward to sharing hauls and DIYs with you guys very soon. I will say goodbye for now. Thanks so much for watching.